one of India's best kept secrets. She is a woman of great substance, determination and drive. She is also married into one of India's premier industrialist families, the Modis. She is Nidhi Modi at the helm of one of India's top-notch renewable energy companies, RAL, RAL and Mithwa. So, let's catch up with her. Mehu Neva Jain, welcome to Z Business and welcome to The Big Idea. Nidhi, great to have you on The Big Idea. Thank you, Neva. Thank you so much. Firstly, because you're a woman. And secondly, it is super cool because we have interviewed your mother-in-law. Oh, tha. nice. It's a long time So it's just wonderful to have a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, super successful duo on The Big Idea. Thank you. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you, tha, Nidhi, you're so young and at the helm of a very, very respected and sought after renewable energy company. How did you start in RAL RAL? So RAL is a family owned business which is already into portable energy for four decades. Okay. We co-own Nippo batteries. Mm -hmm. So the idea came from there because we were already in touch with the grassroots level mm -hmm. and we saw that there were 300 million people which were not connected to the electricity grid and were living in darkness. Mm -hmm. So that's from where the social idea came that if we get into social uh, solar off-grid products mm -hmm. that would help empower millions of people and that's how we started uh, Mithwa Solar. Yes, yeah, so Mithwa is where you're actually very, very involved. Yes. But that we'll discuss a bit later. Um, RAL, mein, where, where all are the benefits seen for people? So RAL has three main divisions. One where we co-own Nippo batteries, which okay. are the second largest portable energy company in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. Second is baby care products, where we are tied up with the world's largest brands, such as Pigeon, Love and Care, uh -huh. and we distribute their brands in India. So A to Z. Yeah, and we've uh, launched a brand with Amazon called Tiffy and Toffee, okay. which is an exclusive partnership for baby care brands in India. Uh -huh. And uh, then is our solar uh, vertical. Which is where you're very involved with. Very involved in. Okay, and in the solar ver vertical, kya kya? So solar, we do off-grid solutions, starting mm -hmm. from lanterns to home lighting systems, and now we're expanding into the rooftop inverters, because India, to meet its electricity demands, mm -hmm. needs solar rooftop to give them at least 100 gigawatts of electricity to meet India's demand of 1,000 gigawatts by 2040. Is it possible? It's India's demand of 1,000 gigawatts oh. can only happen with solar oh. because 500 will come from oh. non-renewable uh -huh. and 500 is required from renewable mm -hmm. and from renewable uh, hydro can only give 100 gigawatt so another 400 mm -hmm. has to come from solar which is PV projects and solar off-grid so unless we don't as a society make every home mm -hmm. solar rooftop we won't be able to meet our electricity demands yeah and it's growing obviously it's as of right mm -hmm. now it's 150 gigawatt by mm -hmm. 2040 our demand will be thousand which will be India will need more electricity than Japan Middle East and Africa put together these are the numbers with yeah. research back with research back with research and why is that? Because of increase in population? Because our population is growing, our industrialization is growing, our consumption is growing and our per capita consumption of electricity is one of the lowest in the world. So to develop as a nation, right. you need more electricity, you need more jobs, people, the rural people are also getting electrified. So earlier people just wanted a basic lantern correct, to just correct. meet their energy needs. Uh -huh. Now they're coming to us that we want our mobile phones charged. Oh, then now they want, yeah, they want to yes, power their TV yeah. with solar, they want to power their mixies with solar. Uh -huh. So the solar revolution is picking up people yeah. as they get educated, as the mobile revolution, data revolution, uh -huh. people want more and more energy okay when you talk about the villages I presume you're saying in Mitwa you are impacting all the villages yes. right okay and how that is your baby yes. so Mitwa started with just basic portable lanterns mm -hmm. where we realized that India uh, second largest deaths in rural India were happening because of kerosene lanterns where the consumer oh. was paying five times the price uh -huh. versus an urban customer for kerosene because they were buying it in black. Okay. They were spending three to four hours per day to stand in line and buy it. And it was uh, deaths because a kerosene lantern mm. would fall down and give the, the huts would the huts burn. Would burn. And oh. the environment was getting impacted with pollution, pollution. causing gastronaut 
disorders correct, correct. and Various multiple diseases, he health yeah. diseases mm -hmm. and the government was spending 35,000 crore on foreign exchange just importing kerosene to give to the rural poor. So this was affecting the environment, the foreign exchange of the country and mm -hmm. the rural people. So we found a big need that uh -huh. needed to be met which we did through Mithwa Solar and now uh -huh. we've already impacted out of 3 million, 10 uh -huh. million people have already been impacted through Mithwa Solar. 10 million people have been impacted already and in the space of five years, yes. I guess, right? Yeah. That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now tell us, in, in the case of Rala, go back and forth, you have said that you want to bridge the gap, you know, the, the gap opportunity that is there. How are you doing that? So we're bridging the gap by first offering solutions at all levels. Okay. So from the most unelectrified village, okay. where they've never had even electricity, gri uh, the grid coming there, okay. to coming to semi-electrified, uh -huh. to electrified, because That's interesting. even where okay. electricity is coming, they're getting uh -huh. power outages of 18 to 20 hours a day. So uh -huh. they need, in fact, somebody who stays state power uh -huh. is more addicted to power. So Fantastic. They, yeah, so wow, they need better amazing. solutions. Uh -huh. So we have solutions at all price levels, depending on the amount of energy needs uh -huh. and going up to the inverter solutions where you can come and power your home, you can uh -huh. power your office. Okay, I'm going to backtrack. That's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. When you talk about a village where you say it has zero power, name some villages, like give, give the example. For people living in urban cities, it's difficult to comprehend. India has over 600,000 villages. Okay. Over 100,000 villages are not even connected to the grid. So the name, yeah. So the name, and even the ones that are connected, uh -huh. the num the number of hours that they get power in a day is maybe three, four, from what you're saying. Even more. lesser. They don't get it for days to an end. Oh. So the government quantifies it when there's a poll coming. Okay. But the poll is going to how many homes and how much electricity is going through that poll and to how many hours is not being is not the true metrics that is being it's measured. It's scary. It's this is almost crucial. It's mandatory. In today's day and age, yeah. not having access to electricity is, is just not it's living in civilization. Exactly, yeah. it's almost inhumane. Well, Nidhi, for one so young, you are super clued in on your profession and super clued in on Mitva. So, Nidhi, then you spoke, the next step was that you have villages which have been totally off the grid. Then you have those villages which are minorly, um, partly, partly uh, benefiting and then going up the ladder. So, how does it work then with Mitva? So the so depending on a village that's completely off grid, okay, then okay. depending on the consumer's needs, then uh -huh. we design products that meant for their needs, where it could be just a basic lighting solution uh -huh. that would empower them with electricity from maybe six p.m. to ten p.m. at night. Okay, so you tailor make those villages to the requirements that they require in terms. We of have products that are tailor made for consumer products. needs, yes, and yes, depending yes. on their purchasing power, okay, depending okay. on their need for electricity, uh -huh. then they then we give them those kind of solutions. Okay. So I will give you an example. Dehri, I will give you a small village in Thiri, and I need electricity for five hours. How do I come to you, and what do you offer me? So we have a pan India distribution where okay. we're already covering 500,000 outlets. Mm -hmm. Plus we work with a lot of microfinance institutions yes, and NGOs and see. CSR foundations. So there's a lot, thanks to the Prime Minister, uh -huh. the awareness of solar is very deep in the country. Uh -huh. So they can go to any of our partners okay. or our retail okay. outlets uh -huh. and pick mm -hmm. up a solar, solar solution mm -hmm. and take it as per their needs and their ability to pay. Because you have to understand That's that the exactly poorest person yeah. Who has the maximum need also has la la less the, money the to pay. The least amount of money to pay for yeah. it. Okay, okay. And what are the varied, um, uh, varied benefits in terms of mitwa of the solar products you're, you're supplying to all over? So our products mm -hmm. range from just vanilla lighting, like okay. basic lighting. And what are they? So they half what half what uh, pro solar lanterns, oh. which are basically five times brighter than a kerosene lantern. Very Going up to lanterns okay. that provide mobile charging because now with the digital revolution, everybody mm. has access to a mobile phone, okay. but they don't have access of electricity to charge the phone. Unbelievable. So from that, mm -hmm. then we have products which have huh. radios. Mm -hmm. Now we are getting into inverters. And so then televisions, I guess. So the huh. inverters okay. will power mm. your, your, your televisions, your radios, your wow. fans and give you uninterrupted electricity depending on the way you want it to be designed for your need and your ability to pay. Pay, okay, I've understood. Now, do you have concessions if it's like the poorest of the poor? You know, because you have said that this is your mission, this is your social mission. So how do the poorest of the poor benefit? 
So the poorest of the poor benefit because we've kept our margins lesser. Okay. In okay. an average business huh. where you would work on 40 to 50 percent gross margin, uh -huh. here we work on lesser, okay. so that we can give the consumer the best price. Huh. Uh, so that's our part of the social contribution. Okay. Also, yeah. our products are very robustly designed, keeping huh. Indian climate, Indian uh, dust pollution, oh. rains in mind. Mm -hmm. So all our R&D team is huh. based in India. Okay. They hail from the most rural parts of India. Okay. So they understand the consumer needs. Very but they've been trained in the best engineering colleges of the country. Oh. So they have the best combination to technically sure. solve their problems, ha, ha, understanding ha. the consumer's needs right. as a user themselves. Ha. So all our products work towards solving their needs in the most cheapest manner. Plus we give two year warranties for everything that we sell through. Oh. So a consumer doesn't need to feel mm -hmm. cheated that somebody's come and sold me a product and run away. And then run away exactly if it, it So for the next two years that they come yeah. to us and they can mm -hmm. get their product service for free. That is phenomenal. So what you are saying is, Jesse, you have taken engineers ko liya hai from small villages. They understand the psyche, the, right. the exact ethos that exists in villages, whereas people living in, in um, A-plus metro cities would not understand. Absolutely. Or international mm. companies that come into India, mm. their engineers won't understand our needs and our climates and oh. how, how an Indian person mm. thinks, mm -hmm. how an Indian rural person thinks, what are their needs, how will they use a product. Correct, correct. That's most important. Now, Mitwa is also expanding in terms of going international. Hamar Sat Sheikh Ali Ji, what your So, our first aim was in the mm -hmm. first five years is mm -hmm. to establish our base in here, which okay. is our hometown, mm -hmm. our country. Mm -hmm. Now that we've gotten a very large base here, uh -huh. now we're going all over the world because there are 1.2 billion people globally who don't have access to electricity. So, we plan to enter all countries of Africa by in the next six to nine months. Okay. And then we plan to get into Latin America, other South Asian countries. Countries, huh. which have the similar needs and requirements as India does. As India does, okay. And uh, just up Africa, me jaoge kaise ja rahi ho Africa me? That's so we are going through partners. So we okay. have a mm -hmm. we have a team that's going and establishing a base there. We're opening an office over there, huh. and then they will appoint partners over there who will take the distribute who have a very deep distribution distribution network. network so we'll understand. try and tap into so that. So you're you're tying up with locals over there who yeah. understand their country yeah. and the dynamics involved. Correct. And then Africa ke baad ap kaha jana So. So the biggest markets mm -hmm. where this is required would be Africa, uh -huh. Latin America mm -hmm. and other South Asian countries such as Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So th this, is, this is our area of focus. But it's phenomenal. So what would you say in five years you have been able to expand and grow? This is a need, mm -hmm. Neva. This it's is a need, need that yeah. needs to be met. People mm -hmm. are living in darkness and we're trying to alleviate the darkness because now technology is available. Correct. Solar prices have come down, Correct. plastic prices have come down, uh -huh. solar cell efficiency has improved. Uh -huh. So now those solutions are real, they're cost effective and they work. So right. this is this is something that the masses need and that why is the mobile revolution there the telecom correct, revolution correct, correct. it's a need it's so a need. the solar is a need, it's a need and yeah. the government cannot meet electricity demands just on non renewable mm -hmm. it needs renewable energy to meet the demand yeah. and the PV projects and the annuity projects yeah. uh, will solve the problem to a part extent Correct. but they need off-grid and hybrid solutions yeah. to meet the entire need of energy. The, the broader spectrum the that's broader there, yes. Social aspect involved with Mitwa and Rao. So the social mm. aspect is mm. that anytime there's a natural mm. calamity, mm. whether it was a Tamil Nadu floods or whether oh. it is a Nepal earthquake, correct, uh, correct. solar comes into play because the first thing that happens when there is a calamity yeah. is that the grids collapse, collapse, there's no access to electricity and people need light. That's uh, they huge. need to charge their mobile phone, they need lighting. So we work very oh. closely with a lot of NGOs, CSR foundations, the biggest names uh, wow. when and giving the products literally at cost price of very uh -huh. subsidized rates uh, to mm -hmm. uh, you know immediately meet the needs to benefit yeah to benefit these, for disaster management exactly. for disaster management for yeah basically disaster management uh your revenue stream kaise hai in mitwa and aria so our revenue for mm -hmm. solar comes from uh, retail okay. and we work very closely with microfinance institutions oh, which okay, give okay, loans okay. Uh, to the rural mm -hmm. women and so we work very closely with them because mm -hmm as I said the rural most person doesn't have money to pay for it so they finance the products for these consumers okay. and we, they pay us up front uh -huh. and then they keep taking installments from these consumers oh, okay. so whether it's retail we work mm. with the oil companies mm. these oil marketing companies through right. their d distribution network okay. with the NGO CSR foundations uh -huh. and now exports so it's, it's uh, well you're busy you're obviously very busy and I must say that for someone so young 
you have married into one of India's oldest Marwadi families, yet you've been working involved with your own side yes. of the family business. What's it been like? How did it, you know, like... So very supportive. I have, uh, I'm blessed to have yeah. great parents, great in-laws, very supportive husband that uh, they let me have a very demanding career. And very. That, yeah. And in a male, I mean, I hate to say this, I shudder, but in a male-dominated space, how, what's it been like for you? So this, spa uh, this renewable energy space yeah. is male-dominated, but I see India's transformed. Mm -hmm. Now you see women everywhere, look at yourself, such yeah. a successful journalist. Oh, so okay. now there are women everywhere, so yeah. that barrier of women in business has broken. Wow. It feels amazing. Yes, huh? it does. Okay, give some advice. For, you know, like, congratulations, you're going to have another baby Thank soon. Thank you. Uh, working hard, trying to grow your business, you know, and once again in a male-dominated space, what advice can you give young women out there who also have dreams and visions? So be very to be focused. Successful? Be very focused, mm -hmm. committed, mm -hmm. and hard work. And there's, you know, I mean, the, it sounds cliche, but there isn't anything else to success except focus. Really, focus and hard work. Absolutely. Where do you see Mitwa and R A L Ral in ten years? So. Our aim is to make Mitwa the largest solar off-grid company globally. Uh, not only off-grid, we also intend to be in hybrid because yes. as you get in the rooftop space, you have to have hybrid solutions. Correct. So we want to be the best low-cost, high-quality service provider, okay. not only in India but also internationally. So we do see ourselves hopefully going into public listing at any point of time. We have a lot of technical collaborations that we're in touch with. Mm -hmm. We're in the process of acquiring an inverter company, a solar inverter company. Correct. So that's Do you work closely with your father, I must ask? or I, uh, Yeah, he's a very big support and advisor, and mm -hmm. he's basically funded this. So Wow. I but he lets you handle it on your own? He's Yeah, he gives a lot of space. And your other sister is also involved with work. So she well. runs the education piece, which mm -hmm. we had started with the Princeton Review. Mm -hmm. So she, we run the India's largest study abroad company, oh. Mania Education oh. Private Limited. Okay. So she runs the entire business. But oh. it's all we run together under the same corporate office. It's under the same corporate, yeah. It's a family driven enterprise Correct. with your father and Correct. three sisters. Correct. Nidhi, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Very, very inspiring. And it's been wonderful to have a young woman such as yourself Thank out you. there. Creating ripples and waves. Thank you. We Thank wish you. you all the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Says Nidhi, my journey has been to work with a sense of purpose, socially impact as many people as possible, and empower the lives of millions. We hope you've enjoyed this enriching and inspiring episode on The Big Idea. Catch you again next week. Mehu Neva Jain. God bless. Thank you.